In 2019, one of the hottest guns to hit the market was the Grand Power Straybog. This pistol caliber carbine seemingly came out of nowhere, was a significant hit in the American market. The reasonable price to incredible performance found a niche in the market dominated by AR9s, MP5s, and B&T's contract winning firearms. At the Machine Gun Nest, we stock the Streebog and have one for rent so the customers can try it before they buy. Conversations usually center around the price to performance ratio and how similar it looks to our B&T APC9 rental although we've attempted to mitigate this through accessories and suppressor mounting. Our Streebog is set up with an EOTech 512, a folding SB tactical brace, and a Yankee Hill machine 9mm suppressor. It's a popular rental with thousands of rounds through it with no issues to speak of. The gun itself has an interesting background, produced by Grand Power of Slovakia, which I had never heard of until releasing the Streebok. They have an extensive line of pistols. Some notable ones are the fully automatic K102 and the interesting Excalibur, which features a 90 degree rotating barrel locking system similar to the Beretta PX4 Storm. Investigating Grand Power's website had me reading the text with a heavy Eastern European accent. The name Strebog refers to Strebog, the Slavic god of the wind and distribution of wealth. Not much information about the early Slavic gods is known, as those who worshipped them were engaged in constant battles with the Roman and Byzantine empires over time while practicing these secretive shamanistic beliefs. However, what is known is that the Slavic people had a cosmology like the Nordic peoples with a world tree and seven primary deities, one of those being Strebog. Strebog is the grandfather of the wind and is often portrayed as an old man. The winds were seen as the grandchildren of Strebog. As a powerful weather god associated with the atmosphere, Strebog was able to control the lightning, whirlwinds, hurricanes, winds, and storms over oceans and seas of earth. In folklore, Strebog is known as a heroic fighter and powerful destroyer. He could launch devastating winds and terrifying powerful gales and usually did not enjoy recognition among people. Side note, I'm writing the script for this video while listening to the Age of Empires 2 soundtrack and I think it fits well with this paragraph. Many other interpretations of the name Strebog could also mean Father God or God of the Bright Sky. A third interpretation by Dmitry Zelenin, a Russian linguist, surmised that Strebog was an annihilating, destroying god, the god of war. This view was also supported by the contemporary Russian historian Alexander Orlov. Another piece of evidence that Strebog could be associated as the god of war is that his Hindu equivalent, Vayu, is also worshipped as the god of war. Pretty cool name for a sleek little subgun. Another interesting detail is the almost partial flower of life looking marking on the receiver. I spent a good amount of time trying to find the meaning of this little detail, but couldn't find anything. It's not the rune for Strebog. I looked into that and found this. If anyone out there knows about runes or symbols, I'd love to get an answer on this detail. As far as the nitty gritty buyer's review details go, the Streebog has an 8 inch threaded barrel. This is honestly great for 9mm as you're really achieving the maximum velocity of the bullet with that barrel length. Its handguard features M-lock slots for those looking to mount accessories, like a weapon light. A great choice would be a mod light in the short configuration. The charging handle is non-reciprocating and can be switched to either side of the gun. This is great for not completely destroying your non-dominant hand while shooting. The magazine well is flared and accepts the Streebog's proprietary magazines, which are decently cheap but also kind of flimsy. I've also heard that this is where the main criticisms of the gun come from. However, this has been remedied very recently with Grand Power listening to its consumers, a rare trait for large firearms manufacturers, and producing newer, curved 30 round magazines. These magazines are said to be much more reliable and fix a lot of the issues that people originally had with their guns. What I had told Global Ordnance from my earliest videos was you guys really need to look at a curved magazine to resolve these stacking issues. Changing the followers and putting metal feed lips on the magazines weren't doing anything to improve the function of the magazines. So Global Ordnance went out and designed and had these magazines built. Now I ordered some and some were sent to me for testing. Uh, they wanted me to test them because I was one of the first critics of the gun and the magazines and they wanted me to do thorough testing and I completed that testing plus I ordered some online and, uh, and they're very affordable, like 25 bucks a magazine. So what did I find with the new curved magazines? It's exactly what I had hoped it would be. And that is 
these magazines resolved all the functional issues I had with the various generations of the gun. On the top of the firearm is a Picatinny rail running the length of the gun. Pretty standard stuff, great for running an optic of your choice. Like I mentioned earlier, we went with an EOTech for our range rental. What is interesting though about the top rail is that it has built-in iron sights, which when folded down give you a handgun style iron, but when flipped up give you a nice peep sight similar to the plastic iron sights that B&T includes with their guns. The grip is unremarkable, it works, and it didn't bother me while shooting. And really, that's about as much as you can ask for. The safety selector should feel similar to those who shoot AR-style rifles, and it's just as easy to use. As far as purpose goes, using a Strebog as a home defense weapon wouldn't be a bad option. It's also a great gun to have for bringing new shooters with you to the range. It's become pretty apparent from my time at the range that newer shooters perform demonstrably better with pistol caliber carbines than just about any other type of firearm. And if you include a suppressor like an Omega 9K or a can from one of your favorite suppressor companies, you have a formula for a great afternoon. If you're looking to put your hands on a Strebog, whether you're just just curious or looking to take one home with you, we have you covered at the Machine Gun Nest. If you like videos like this, let us know in the comments and subscribe for more.